teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson. Students, in our previous lesson, we have learned about curriculum vitae and elements of curriculum vitae. A curriculum vitae is a process of describing oneself. It includes the following basic elements. These include personal details such as full name, address, phone, email, and date of birth, qualifications or educational background, work experience, skills, achievement, hobbies and interests, and preferences. In today's lesson, we will learn about the concept of inland transactions. Let us start the lesson by first describing the concept of trade. Trade is the business of buying, selling, or exchanging goods within a country or between countries. It is the major component of business that solves the basic and fundamental problems of commercial activity. To perform the trading activity, there must be the exchange process. When exchange takes place, transaction will occur. Transaction is defined as the occurrence of events or conditions which result in the exchange of goods and services. When an exchange of one value for another value occurs, the transaction process takes place. All business transactions are carried by five groups of people. They are the producers, the wholesalers, the dealers or merchants, the retail dealers or shopkeepers, and the consumers. Students, to complete a transaction, the following preconditions need to be fulfilled. There must be two things of values, agreed upon conditions, time of agreement, and place of agreement. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the students sitting next to you. You have two minutes. Describe the difference between exchange and transaction.
Students, have you identified their difference? Good. Exchange and transaction are different, but they are interrelated concepts. Exchange is the act of taking anything from someone by offering something in return. It is a giving and taking process. Whereas transaction is a marketing unit of measurement that states the trade value of goods and services in the exchange process. Students, let us discuss the concept of inland transactions and the basic documents involved in it. Inland transactions take place when payments are made in national currency or through the national bank system on behalf of internal or homeland trading activity. The inland business transaction needs some important documents or papers or letters which are very useful for facilitating the exchange of goods and services. These include inquiry, quotation, order or indent, invoice or executing the order, and documents of payment for goods. Students, let us discuss each of them. The first business document in inland transaction is inquiry. Inquiry is a letter sent by the buyer to the seller asking for the price of goods that he or she thinks of buying. We write an inquiry when we want to ask for more information concerning a product, service, or other information about a product or service that interests us. Let us discuss each of them. The first business document in inland transaction is inquiry. In other words, it is a request for information which is sent by the buyer to the seller that states the following conditions. The type of goods, the quantity of the product, the quality of goods, the price of goods can be obtained, the term of delivery, and the term of payment. The second basic document of inland transaction is quotation. In business, a quotation is a document that a vendor or service provider would give to a customer to describe specific goods and services that they may provide and its cost. It is an offer by the seller to sell certain goods at a price under conditions that are clearly stated. When quotation is prepared, the following condition should be stated. Subject to accept within seven days or a specific time of the date of quotation, the quantity, quality, terms of delivery, and terms of payment. The third basic document of inland transaction is the order or indent. It is defined as a document is sent by the buyer to the seller for the supply of goods. It clearly states the terms and conditions under which goods will be acceptable and payment may be effected. The fourth basic document of inland transaction is the invoice. The invoice is also known as executing the order. An invoice or bill is a commercial document issued by a seller to the buyer indicating the products, quantities, and agreed prices for the products 
or services the seller has provided the buyer. The last basic element of inland transaction is the document of payment for goods. Buyers should pay sellers for the goods and services using various means of payment. These documents of payment are cash, check, and promissory notes. The following diagram illustrates the flow of transaction documents between buyers and sellers. The buyer who buys certain goods, the seller who sells certain goods, inquiry from the buyer to the seller, quotation from the seller to the buyer, the order from the buyer to the seller to purchase products, the documents of payment from the buyer to the seller after the product has been sold, and the invoice from the seller to the buyer. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the students sitting next to you. You have two minutes. Explain the difference between inquiry and quotation. Students, have you explained the difference between inquiry and quotation? Good. Let's do the answer together. Inquiry is a letter or a document sent by the buyer to the seller to ask the type, price, and quantity of a product, whereas quotation is an offer from the seller to the buyer to sell certain goods at a price under condition that are stated. Students, let us proceed to the rights of traders. Businesses often give their standard terms and conditions of business, or TNCs, low priority until a dispute arises. The degree of freedom to agree vary with the following relationships. Business to business trading relationship and business to consumer trading relationship. In business to business trading relationship, traders have a lot more freedom 
to agree on whatever they want. But in business to consumer trading relationship, consumer law will override to protect certain consumer rights. To protect themselves from possible problems, traders should consider at least two issues. These are timing and ensuring your terms and conditions are brought to your customer's attention at the earliest opportunity. Proper notice. Students, let us discuss the capabilities of a trader. Once a trade has stopped, it is losing and traders move on. Therefore, there are some points that a trader should understand to succeed. These include learning the whole process of trading, having the ability to learn and adopt quickly as traders go, having the mindset of having a plan, evaluating the process, eliminating mistakes, and being mindful of the need to change. Students, let us do the last activity. Get ready for the next activity. List the major documents involved in domestic business transaction. Have you done your activity? Good. There are various documents which are involved in domestic transactions. These include inquiry, quotation, order or indent, invoice or executing the order, and documents of payment for goods. Let us conclude today's lesson by summarizing the main points. Today, we have discussed about the concepts of inland transactions. Inland transaction is defined as the occurrence of events or conditions which result in the exchange of goods and services. We also discussed about the documents of inland transactions. These are inquiry, quotation, order or indent, invoice or executing the order, and documents of payment for goods. 
In the next lesson, we will learn about the technological environment. Until then, thank you, teacher. Thank you, students. Goodbye. Thank you.